A little ship carried only 18 men surrounded by the huge Atlantic Ocean full of dangers. The captain of the ship, Captain John Cabot, will discover something he's never seen before. The new world, the land of riches, the land of spices and fortune. When he got there, what he found was extraordinary. John Cabot was born somewhere in 1450 and probably born in Genoa, a port in what is now called Italy. His real name when he was born was Giovanni Caboto. Caboto means seaman. John's father, Giulio Caboto, was a spice merchant. In between 1471 and 1473, John and his dad moved to Venice. Cabot was taught cartography, navigation, astronomy, mathematics, and seamanship, and was probably taught in a Catholic church. In 1474, he married a girl named Mattia and had three sons named Ludovico, Sebastiano, and Santo. In, in the 1490s, Cabot moved to Bristol, England. After the news of Christopher Columbus's trip, the Americas reached England, King Henry VII decided to send John Cabot to find new land for England on March 5, 1496. It was a long, long trip. John Cabot discovered Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, states of New England, which were Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont and he claimed this land for Britain. They took charge of the land for more than a hundred years. It helped England to join the race of exploring and other European countries. Cabot brought home important charts and sea for England, and it was possible that other countries have never saw the maps before. In the second voyage, he had taken a lot of risks and very low food, weapon, and water. His hope to land was drowning. He ran right into a huge storm with no armor for his boat. After the storm, one of John's ship was badly damaged, so it had to go back to England. But the Matthew and three other ships was all right, so the four ships went on. On the way to discover new land, John Cabot discovered south of Labrador. John Cabot's voyage to discover new land was not so successful, but they still made it to the destination. It was not successful because they were out of food and water, raging weather, and the crews were complaining about the trip. John Cabot got lots of money for his trips, and if John Cabot comes back and discovers something, he will be rewarded more money. John Cabot's voyage ended, he brought back a lot of interesting stuff which people did not know much about, such as cods from the coast of land, exotic fruits that never been seen before, tobacco, delicious spices, and lots more. The king and queen were very pleased, proud that they sent John Cabot on his second voyage and he landed in Newfoundland. John Cabot counted on his team a lot and they were together always helping each other. John Cabot's voyages did a lot though he got lost in his third voyage and died in 1499. But we could still remember his hard work for discovering many things which help people to know more information about our world.